Welcome to Learn with Mr. Lewis. On this week's episode, we'll learn about a Cold War prisoner exchange, a world-class ball player who finally gets his due. We'll also learn about some high drama in Elizabethan Britain, an 18th century natural disaster that kills tens of thousands, and the tragic death of a pop superstar. Also, be sure to stay tuned until the very end for some extra Mr. Lewis commentary and bloopers. Let's get to this week's events. On February 4th, 1983, pop singer Karen Carpenter dies at age 32. Karen and her brother Richard begin performing in and around their hometown of Downey, California when she is just 15 years old. However, she is obsessed with her weight. As a teenager, she loses at least 25 pounds on a severe weight loss program called the Water Diet. At age 20, she and Richard burst onto the scene with their hit song Close to You in 1970. At 5 feet 5 inches, she is thin but healthy at 120 pounds. Her insecurities intensify as she becomes a bigger star. By 1975, Karen's weight has plummeted to just 90 pounds, and she collapses on stage in Las Vegas. The duo is forced to cancel tours of Japan and Europe. Her weight rebounds after a brief hospitalization. The next seven years become a repeating cycle of dramatic weight loss, collapse, and then hospitalization. On February 4, 1983, she suffers a deadly heart attack brought on by the physiological stresses of her disease. Karen's death brings international attention to the eating disorder anorexia nervosa. On February 5, 1783, a massive earthquake strikes southern Italy. The quake's epicenter is in the region of Calabria, the toe of the boot, then part of the Kingdom of Naples. It is estimated to be at least magnitude 7.0. The earthquake is felt across much of the Italian peninsula and the entire island of Sicily. Large landslides cause major destruction in the towns of Terranova and Molocchio. The quake opens an unusual number of fractures in the earth, including a mile-long ravine 100 feet wide and another into which fall more than 100 goats. A tsunami hits the coastline on both sides of the Straits of Messina. The tsunami pummels the city of Messina, which had already lost many of its historic buildings to the quake, and destroys its harbor walls and floods part of the city. Messina's medieval cathedral is badly damaged. As many as 180 villages are leveled with more than 25,000 people killed. Over the following days and weeks, four additional quakes ravaged the region, bringing the death toll to over 30,000. On February 6, 1891, the notorious Dalton gang attempts its first train robbery. Lewis and Adeline Dalton have nine sons and three daughters between 1852 and 1878. The children grow up on homesteads in Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma. One son, Frank, becomes a deputy U.S. Marshal. He is murdered by whiskey runners in 1887. His brother Gratt takes his place and recruits brothers Bob and Emmett as assistants, but the three use their law enforcement powers to illegally supplement their income. Soon discredited, they head to California in 1890 and team up with another brother, Bill, in a criminal enterprise. Their first attempt at train robbery is a fiasco. The engineer is killed and they fail to get any of the train's money. They return to Oklahoma, form a criminal gang, and begin a spree of robberies. In 1892, Bob Gratt and two other gang members are killed trying to hit two banks in Coffeyville, Kansas. In fact, Emmett is the only criminal Dalton brother to live to old age, marrying and settling in Los Angeles after his release from prison in 1907, where he succeeds in real estate. A quick reminder, if you like what you see here on Learn With Mr. Lewis, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now on to our next event. On February 7th, 1938, Harvey Firestone dies in Miami at age 69. Firestone is born in Columbiana, Ohio in 1868. He moves to Chicago in 1896 and, with partners, establishes a retail tire business. In 1900, he moves to Akron, Ohio, then the center of tire production. And by 1902, he is head of, the, of his own tire manufacturing company. He teams up with Henry Ford to manufacture tires for the Model T, pushing Firestone to the top of the American tire industry. His company is innovative in design and manufacturing, pioneering many new tires and treads, often working with Thomas Edison to develop these innovations. He bypasses Britain's monopoly on raw rubber production in Southeast Asia by establishing his own large rubber plantations in the West African nation of Liberia. Firestone, Ford, Edison, and naturalist John Burroughs become close friends and often vacation together. They refer to themselves as the Vagabonds. He turns the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company over to his son in 1932 and dies in 1938 of coronary thrombosis. On February 8, 1587, Mary, Queen of Scots, is beheaded by Queen Elizabeth I. Mary Stuart ascends to the Scottish throne in 1542 at the death of her father, James V. She is six days old. Her mother sends her to be raised in the French court. At age 15, she marries the Dauphin of France, who becomes King Francis II a year later, but then dies a year after that. Mary returns to Scotland. 
She marries her cousin, Lord Darnley. He soon becomes jealous of Italian David Rizzio, the pregnant Mary's private secretary, and has him murdered in front of her. The following year, Darnley is strangled in his garden just months after the birth of their son, James. Three months later, Mary marries the chief suspect in Darnley's murder, the Earl of Bothwell. This causes a major scandal, and the Scottish nobles force her to abdicate in favor of her infant son, James VI. She escapes to England, where her cousin Elizabeth I imprisons her for the next 19 years, in part because Europe's Catholics consider Mary the rightful English queen and plot to install her in Elizabeth's place, leading to her execution. Sixteen years later, Mary's son James unites the English and Scottish thrones. On February 9, 1971, Satchel Paige becomes the first Negro League veteran to be nominated to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Leroy Page is born in Mobile, Alabama in 1906. As a boy, he earns money carrying passengers' bags at train stations, earning the nickname Satchel. Page pitches for Negro League teams around the U.S. and for Latin American teams during the winter months. In his pro career, he astonishingly pitches an estimated 2,500 games, with 300 shutouts and 55 no-hitters. In 1936, the Yankees ask Page to test a rookie player, Joe DiMaggio. The contest results in DiMaggio being promoted to the majors, while demonstrating the underlying unfairness of a player of Page's skill being barred from the league. DiMaggio later says that Page was the best and fastest pitcher he'd ever faced. In 1948, a year after Jackie Robinson breaks the color barrier, Page signs with the Cleveland Indians, becoming baseball's oldest rookie at age 42. He retires in 1953, but returns to pitch three innings for the Kansas City A's in 1965 at age 59, making him the oldest to ever play in the majors. On February 10, 1962, the U.S. and the Soviet Union make a high-profile prisoner exchange in Berlin. In 1957, KGB operative Reino Heihanen enters the U.S. Embassy in Paris and announces his intention to defect. In exchange for asylum, he promises that he can help expose a major Soviet spy network. Heihanen's information leads to Rudolf Abel, who had been posing as an artist and photographer in Brooklyn, but was in reality the brilliant leader of a Soviet spy network. In 1960, American pilot Francis Gary Powers' high-altitude U-2 spy plane is shot down over the Ural Mountains. He parachutes, but is promptly arrested. On February 10, 1962, Abel and Powers are brought to separate sides of the Gleinecker Bridge, which connects West Berlin with East Germany across Lake Wannsee. As the spies wait, negotiators talk in the center of the bridge where a white line divides East and West. Finally, Powers and Abel are waved forward, and they cross the border at the same moment at 8.52 a.m. Just before the transfer, Frederick Pryor, an American student held in East Germany since August 1961, is released at another crossing. If you want to learn more about this spy swap, I highly recommend the 2015 movie Bridge of Spies. It's directed by Steven Spielberg. It stars Tom Hanks and Mark Rylance, who plays uh, Rudolf Abel absolutely brilliantly. Definitely want to check that out. Um, and when I think of Satchel Paige, I'll tell you, researching this was frustrating. Uh, it's just maddening to think that Paige and so many others were barred from opportunities just because of the color of their skin. It's, uh, it's, it's tragic, truly. Um, and then <laughs> Mary, Queen of Scots, wow. Such an interesting historical figure and so much drama. And when we talk about Karen Carpenter, a, a truly amazing voice, and her death was, was huge news uh, back in the 80s, and, and it really made the world take notice of eating disorders. Um, I remember in high school, uh, actually in Mrs. Butler's Foods and Nutrition class, we watched the TV movie about her life, and uh, I still remember it to this day. And, and this, her high-profile struggle with anorexia has almost certainly saved many lives. Thanks for watching. Testing, 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 testing. On this week, ah, them. There's release from prison. In nine, eight, nine, nine, nineteen, not nineteen eighty-six, eighteen ninety-six. And uh, that sounds dumb. Let me try that again. For Mary, the rightful English clean, clean. Ah, it's so much. Paris. Uh, that sounded weird. Yes, and, ah, I did it again. Okay. Artist and photographer. In uh, photographer. What's a photographer? Um, just before the transfer, Frederick. Fred, 